lovids, it's your girl Clement Hoyne from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving them. Mis amores, it's your girl Clement Hoyne. I record energy and people to fill ochre. And this is our pick a chord for the new moon in Taurus, okay? Our new moon in Taurus is happening on May 11, 2021, okay? And this new moon is going to be super powerful. It's leading us into eclipse season, which is a time of faded changes, okay, and resets. Now, the thing about this new moon in Taurus, okay, is that we are going to be advised to set our intentions with in the terms of surprise, okay? Now, what I mean by that is that it is also happening with Uranus and Taurus, okay? And this is bringing us a lot of sh shake, shake, I'm saying shakes, shifts and shaking happening, okay, for this new moon. And this is going to be happening, it feels like, in the way that we are thinking, in the way that we are speaking and communicating, okay? So listen, with this pick a card, I'm going to be getting into three, okay, options that we have. I have crystals to go along with the options, and you can skip ahead to your reading in the time stamps, okay? So y'all know as well, every new moon, I do a collective candle Reiki, okay? Reiki is energy healing, and it is sent from me to you on the new moon. I also include a private YouTube live that has a sound bath and group reading, okay? I have my 432 hertz crystal bowls, my drums, okay? And I also channel messages from our spirit guides and our angels. That's at 9 p.m. on Tuesday, May 11th. Secure your spots on my website, Big Empress Energy, LLC.com. It is $14.44. And the focus for this particular new moon is an abundance activation. So I will also be doing an activation and energy healing activation to allow us to open up to receive to more abundance, okay? This could be financial abundance, an abundance of peace, abundance of love, okay? Beauty, appreciation, and just an overall energetic upgrade, okay? And these Reikis, I do them twice a month. They're like energy tune-ups, okay? So if you're um, interested in that secure spot on my website, okay? Now let's get into this reading, all right, I'm going to invite us all to ground our energy together with some deep breaths. Then I'm going to lead us into the crystal and the options. Now, I want you to trust yourself. You must know yourself, okay? So what that means is that if you're drawn to a particular number, trust that number, okay? If you want to watch the whole reading, watch the whole reading, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? And all these readings are for a large audience. It's always spiritual. It's never personal. So if it doesn't resonate with you, please check out all the other beautiful readers here on YouTube, okay? Now, I invite you to have your poems meet at your heart chakra, okay? And what we're going to be doing is doing three inhales. Deep, deep, deep inhale. Move your hands down when you inhale and exhale and move your hands up. Now let's go. I would recommend you to put your feet on the ground if you can and imagine um, your feet are forming roots into the earth, okay? And then we want to bring that energy up and out through your crown. Imagine yourself wrapped in golden light. Let's take our hands, meet them at the heart chakra. Inhale. Big inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Yes. Okay. Now let's get into these options. For pile number one, we have a purple fluorite. Okay. For pile number one, this is a purple fluorite. For pile number two, we have selenite. A beautiful selenite tower. And for pile number three, we have rose quartz. Okay. Rose quartz. Ooh. 
okay? So whichever crystal's calling you, whatever number's calling you, don't second guess it. Let's get into it. Let's see what spirit wants you to know right now for your highest and your best, what messages you need to know for the new moon in Taurus. Now let's get into it. Can I get an oh crap for my number ones? Oh crap for number one. If you chose number one, you chose this purple uh, fluorite. Let's see what it you need to know right now for the new moon in Taurus, okay? Let's see what you need to know for this new moon, yo. I'm hearing scare money don't make no money, okay? Scare money don't make no money. I'm seeing a lot of white energy. So I feel like you guys could be getting a lot of crown chakra activations, maybe headaches or pressure in your crown, sinus. Your sinuses are, 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 are messed up here, okay? You are getting a lot of downloads and informations coming in through, through your crown chakra, okay? Also with this white energy, you're maybe as well being called to cleanse, okay? To cleanse. This could be taking a salt bath. This could be praying, okay, before, when you rise and before bed, cleansing your energy with some, okay, agua de florida. You need something, okay, because at this point, woo, okay, I feel like with this, at this point, it is an enter, it's like a, it's a reset for you, okay? It's a reset for you because you're completely changing in the way that you see something. I'm seeing this energy of like you are perspective perspective shift almost like that hangman you know that uh, and this energy is like a as a crown chakra renewal okay so i also just feel like with this energy you guys are opening yourself up more than you ever have okay this is exposing parts of yourself being more vulnerable doing your shadow integration okay a lot of you have realized parts to you that maybe you have forgotten or parts that you have forgotten and as well i'm feeling like um it's like this remembering, okay? You're remembering who you are. You're remembering gifts from past life. You're remembering why you chose to incarnate here on earth, okay? And with this energy, some of you guys here could also be feeling and identifying with star seeds, uh, Lemurian star seeds, okay? Livian star seeds, okay? Or the way that you think is just out of this world. You could also have a lot of um connections to the... um the astral realm, these angelic beings. We have the four of swords that came out for your energy. On this new moon in Taurus, you guys could be feeling extra tired or fatigued mentally because, again, you've been having a lot of crown chakras. It could be um, migraines, um, pressure in your head, okay? Um, as well, some of you guys, this is ringing in your ear. Mm -hmm. This is ringing in your ear. I'm seeing someone with this energy of the four of swords on this new moon in Taurus, you're going to probably want to go to sleep earlier than usual. Or as well, I'm seeing you might be spending more time meditating or doing some self-healing. We have the devil card, okay? This is coming up as your challenge for this new moon. First thing I'm hearing is overworking, overworking. You've been overworking yourself in some capacity. You've been putting a lot of pressure on yourself. You've been putting a lot of focus on your inner critic is very loud. This devil card represents Capricorn type of energy, okay? Some of you guys here, you were uh, feeling like you were programmed or one of the fundamentals you learned in life was that you have to, um, you know, work really hard or take a lot of steps and levels to get somewhere and you are, re are realizing that, you know, maybe this this life isn't what I thought it was. I'm seeing a lot of um, the veil being lifted. A lot of things just kind of, you're seeing them for what they truly are. And you're seeing, you know, your own demons, your own shadow side, your own darkness and integrating into your light. You are cutting cords with, um, it feels like codependency, okay? Cutting cords with codependency or manipulative practices. Some of you guys from overextending and over um, giving to other people without giving to yourself first. Some of you guys here are also going to be feeling very sexual, okay, or have a very, um, your sacral has a large appetite. So if you're feeling that energy, it could be also very creative. You have a creative project that wants to come out of you. You have something that wants to be born, okay? We have the Page of Cups. This energy here is us here, you guys connecting with spirit, the divine during this new moon in Taurus. With this page of cups, this is also our inner child, okay? Some of you guys, this could be your own physical child. You're wanting to change the way that you maybe discipline your child. With this energy of the page of cups and the devil, some of you guys thought it was um, maybe the devil's work or you thought it was um, there was shame when you want to play or, you know, if you're always... What I'm seeing is someone who also works so hard that they don't they guilt themselves when they play, okay? 
They don't make time to play. They don't put put play in their planner. They don't, um, it's like you grew up too fast. Okay. I'm also seeing that energy. Like you grew up way too fast. And, um, with that energy of you growing up way too fast here, you're needing to kind of go back to that childlike nature that you originally have, okay? Your childlike nature that you originally um, came into this world with. Wow. We have the three of pentacles that came out, this tower card, okay? And then we have these mer people here, merman, a mermaid, okay, giving us those vibes here. Um, with this energy here of the tower card and the devil, some of you guys here are, I'm seeing old patterns, old ways of thinking collapsing, okay? Some of you guys here are going to be getting some unexpected news from a family member, unexpected news from, um, some of you guys, this is your child's school, um, Unexpected news here is coming in with the tower card. Listen, it's not what happens to you. It's how you respond to it. It's not what happens to you. It's how you respond to it. And every moment we have a choice. Are we going to act from our higher self or our lower self? Okay. And I feel like you guys are rewriting the paradigm so you can work from your higher self, which is very connected to your inner child. We have the page of swords that just came out. Now we have two pages, page of swords in the reverse, the four of pentacles. This page of swords in the reverse, some of you guys here could be going on social media profiles, checking up on people that you shouldn't have, or you have people checking up on you, okay, as well. Some of you guys here are learning how to use social media as a tool and not just a, a, um like a journal, okay, using it as a tool to share, to connect. Um, some of you guys here commenting more, interacting more, it feels like also. With this energy of the page of swords, I see that someone's cutting out here. Some of you guys are cutting out addictions, okay? Uh, not all addictions are about drinking and smoking and drugs, okay? Some addictions are about your ad addiction to working, your addiction to self-sacrificing, your addiction to victimhood, your addiction to... Um, I'm seeing this, um, like shushing yourself, like, um, this almost this energy of like, you kind of like, don't speak up because you feel like you don't want to be a burden on other people. Okay. You're it's, it's like, it's not your way or the highway. You're just like, you're, you're very much with this energy of like, you're breaking habits of people pleasing. Okay. Breaking habits of this people pleasing. We have the four of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, lots of earth signs, lots of earth energy. You guys could be earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What I'm seeing with this energy here is that you're needing to enjoy here your own energy by yourself. Some of you guys, you know, it's not, the, it, it's not that you're bougie. It's not that you think you're better than people. It's just that you protect your peace. It's just that you protect your energy. It's just that you're not going to be spending time doing something when you wish you were somewhere else. Okay. Another thing I'm seeing here, some of you guys are being called into a new direction. You might be having fear and you're needing to open up to this new direction that you're feeling. And it's going to be bringing you lots of abundance and wealth, but it's going to be taking time. Some of you guys here, it's your birthday this season. Okay. Shout out to my Tauruses. Okay. And my Gemini's, we have the full card. That's that Uranus energy, right? I was just talking about that. The full card is Uranus. This is the planet of, of unexpected news, unexpected, um, changes. Okay. So with this, and this is also in Taurus right now, Uranus. So what, what I'm seeing is that take a, take a chance, take a risk and keep focus on your vision. Don't let other people discourage you. Don't let what are people going to say about you stop you. Okay. Don't let what are people going to say about you stop you. Um, it's very interesting to you guys have the, um, you guys have four, four. So you could be seeing that number a lot as well. Four, four. And this can be a number of you guys connecting with your ancestors, your angels, having a very strong foundation, something that people cannot cannot knock down. So do not get worried. Okay. We have fortune and haughtiness. Okay. Some of you guys are going to be spending money on a beauty, a beauty treatment. This could be a facial. This could be, um, you know, you're doing your hair differently, changing your outfit, changing your clothes. It's going to be bringing you more fortune because when you look better, you're going to be feeling better. Okay. Don't let anyone shame you on that things that you want to do for yourself. Um, get your nails done, whatever that is. We also have fortune. So a lot of us are going to be experiencing here, surprising, um, income, um, 
opportunities, offerings, fortunate events, being somewhere at the right time, at the right place. And then we have wedding. Wow. Some of you guys could be invited to a wedding, needing to go to a wedding. Maybe you're trying to pick, figure out what you're going to wear. We are approaching wedding season. Some of you guys here, I'm seeing a wedding is being delayed or postponed, okay, as well. Um, but it's going to be fortunate, okay? It's going to be for the best. Some of you guys here, I'm seeing another wedding, a wedding re being rescheduled. So like maybe you canceled your wedding last year. You might be having it this year or your friend canceled it last year. They want to have it this year, okay? Um, some of you guys here... I'm seeing like with this fortune card that this is like, a, it does not only have to be um, a physical fortune, right? This could also be a vision that you keep and that you uh, water and that you tend to, and then you see how it grows. It's something that is like, Almost, I'm hearing like the gift that keeps on giving. So it's not just a quick one and done. You already know what time it is, okay? It's not just like that. When we have the full card, someone in your life too is acting very childish. This could be you or somebody else acting very, very childish. And what I'm seeing is that you're needing to have very strong energetic boundaries with them, okay? Very strong energetic boundaries. That means do not engage, do not respond, do not feed the trolls, okay? Do not feed the trolls. Some of you guys, if you're getting really harsh or negative comments or feedback from people, don't listen to it, don't ingest it that's their paradigm that doesn't mean that you have to accept it you do not have to accept that in your reality mm -mm, sorry baby mm -mm, no nope. try again surrender to your full power wow this is that leo energy i'm seeing okay we have a lion in this picture some of you guys here, what's blocking you is that you were playing small before. You didn't know the power that you had. You gave away your power thinking you didn't have any. This says your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. Take that leap of faith. If you look foolish to other people, they will see in time. Some of, I'm hearing nine months. Okay, some of you guys, this is in time. They're going to see that you were right all along. You knew what was best for you all along surrender to spirit. This says once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Okay. So surrender to the divine, surrender to spirit, surrender to where you're being called. Don't let yourself be like landlocked. Okay. Is what I'm seeing. Now I'm going to see what angel has a message for you, what crystal and angel has a message for you. Mm, we have pink calcite. Pink cal calcite, angel of kindness. This says, I am blessed with nurturing vibrations wherever I go. I am gentle with myself. I recognize that kind heartedness brings about better life situations. I am kind and compassionate with myself and others. I enjoy loving relationships, okay? Angel of kindness. And what I'm seeing with this is like, be gentle with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up, okay? Don't beat yourself up. And with this energy too, ooh, this pink energy is... I'm seeing very much connected to self-love, doing what you have to do for you, even if that means disappointing people. We have leadership, answer the call. So this new moon in Taurus could be pointing you in the, the direction of leadership, okay, um, and acting on your ideas, taking that first step, okay? Some of you guys are being called to lead others, to teach others, um, and you are a born mentor, okay? You have a lot of power within you, and it's time for you to step into that full power of your being. And then we have ancestors, appreciation and he healing. Some of you guys can be getting ancestral visitations in your dream, okay? This could be from a Leo ancestor or as well, a father ancestor as well. With this energy of ancestors, I'm seeing that we are deeply, deeply supported through generations. It's not just even ancestors that you know, it's also your ancestors you don't know, okay? It is the ancestors that I'm also seeing here are guiding us throughout our life. Some of you guys might be wanting to light a candle for some 
ancestors even if you don't have a picture there it's still an ancestral candle some of you guys are learning more about ancestors and how you can connect with your ancestors and what's coming to mind right now is music playing your ancestors favorite music can be one way to invite them into the space and lighting a candle praying and all of that okay so now i'm gonna see what message we have from the magical mermaids and dolphins protection wow protection you and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven so you do not have to worry about someone taking what's yours you're all it's already protected and then we have break free this is that full energy taking a leap of faith this says try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn okay break free of the monotony break free of the nine to five break free of what people were saying about you okay break free about what they thought you couldn't do okay and another thing i'm seeing is you're breaking free of codependent relationships you're breaking free of um these fake obligations okay wow now let's see what goddess has a message for you what goddess has a message for this new moon what goddess is working with you at this time we have bast and isis some of you guys are deeply connected with ancient egyptians okay ancient egyptians i'm seeing you guys could have even had a past life in, e in egypt you guys are remembering your past life gifts this card says isis past life this situation involves your past life memory some of you guys here are rediscovering gifts that you've had from previous lives and we have bass is reminding me of that remember that lyrian starseed vibe this says independence this says your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So you have to kind of go your own way. You have to get off the beaten path, okay, and create your own lane, okay? Some of you guys, this means that you have to elevate to sep You have to separate to elevate, okay? You have to separate from what you've known. You have to separate from the habits that you've been doing to elevate, okay, onto a next new level, a new frequency. And what I'm seeing with that is you're going to be feeling a lot of green lights to take that leap of faith, okay? A whole lot of confirmation, a whole lot of synchronicity, a whole lot of 4-4, four, four, okay, as well. We have energy work. So some of you guys here could be also tapping in with my Reiki session. You guys are tapping in as well. You guys could be Reiki practitioners or energy workers and doing and figuring out here how to connect, align your chakras, okay? Unblock unblock your chakras so you can unlock your blessings. And then we have ground yourself, okay? So on this new moon in Taurus, take some time to do energy work. Take some time to ground yourself, meditate. Imagine yourself connecting with Mother Earth. Also, what I'm seeing is as you meditate, you're allowing yourself to observe your thoughts without attachment, and that's going to help you to feel more powerful, okay? So do that as well, okay, number ones. Now, if that reading resonates with you, please comment, okay? Like the video, subscribe to my channel, share it with a friend. You can also tip, hit my cash app, or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. It's going to abundance and fold over your life go to my website big empress energy llc.com to secure your spot for the new moon in taurus collective candle ricky okay now that was a beautiful reading thank you so much number one now let's get into it can i get in oh for my number twos, number two, if you chose this selenite, if you chose selenite tower, this one is for you. We're going to find out what you need to know, boo-boo, okay? What you need to know for this full moon. I'm seeing a lot of orange. You guys will be fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh, or you're feeling fiery. You're feeling feisty, okay? Lots of orange, lots of creativity. You guys are really connected with your ability to be able to receive, okay? Receive intuitive downloads, receive, um, I'm seeing plans, like um, blueprints from spirit, okay? Wow.
I'm seeing a turtle. Some of you guys too, you could be feeling like you're moving very slow. It's just because your mind moves very fast or you're very inspired to get it done, to show and prove. It's all about going slow and steady, baby, okay? Nurturing yourself, baby. I'm seeing like lean with it, rock with it, okay? And what I'm getting with that is like lean into it, okay? Lean into your longings. Lean into discomfort. Lean into the unknown, okay? Lean into your creativity, okay? This is very much going with the flow. This is very much divine feminine, no matter what you identify with, okay? That archetype where you are able to receive, okay? Where you are able to... Um, and, and, and with this energy, you almost like you're shining a light, okay? You're shining a light. Uh, you shine a light on people. You could also be human design projectors or reflectors. Like, you show people, like, you inspire people, okay? You show people what can happen or, or you want to be an inspiration, okay? I'm also hearing motivation. Some of you guys maybe want to be motivational speakers or you listen to a lot of motivational speakers. It's important to stay motivated so you keep so you stay disciplined and determined okay so you stay disciplined and determined i'm seeing that you guys are very protected here as well by i'm seeing a father-like figure um who is always with you as well i'm also seeing um this energy of a grandmother as well this could have been someone as well who was a mother and they just passed very when they were much older and this also they could have also been a fire sign okay um or I'm seeing an earth sign. We have the lover's card that just came out. This is Gemini energy, okay? The lover's card. The three of pentacles. I'm seeing that you have to make a decision, but you're, you are taking in a lot of other people's opinions, okay? So it's like you have to make a decision for your life, but you want to you wanna digest another person's opinion. Um... Are they going to live your life for you? Are they going to have to um, live with the repercussions of your choices? Or you're just doing it to bend over backwards because you love this person, okay? Sometimes when you love somebody, the most important thing you can do is honor yourself, okay? Is be true to yourself, okay? So that you don't build resentments, okay? So that you do not build resentment. Some of you guys here are also feeling like, some of you guys, ooh. This is a very specific message, but I'm seeing that like someone, they have multiple love interests. Maybe you've been in a relationship with someone for a long time and you're, you're looking, you have a roaming eye or, um, you're dating and you are not taking it like taking someone serious at this point because you just have a lot of options. Okay. Listen, you're single until you're married. Okay. You're single until you're married. I don't know why that just came through. I think that energy is just like, um, Doing something because you want to, not because you think it's going to make someone else happy, okay? Doing something because you want to. Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you guys, this is also speaking of that creativity that is birthing within you and receiving it. And then also what I'm seeing is like making that decision to do what you love, to pursue that passion, to pursue that creativity. Um... I'm seeing also saying yes. Some of you guys are saying yes to a um, a scholarship, a program, a study opportunity, an apprenticeship, okay? We have the two of wands. I'm seeing someone study something that they love. The sun card, the world card, or maybe you you just graduated or you were you were just studying something you wanted to switch your major, switch what you were studying. Because we have this world card and this sun card, okay? What I'm also seeing with this, we have that. That's Leo, the sun the world is Saturn. Some of you guys feel like there have been a lot of limitations on the way that you express yourself. Okay. So you're needing to free yourself from these, this old mold. Okay. Free yourself from this old mold because you've outgrown. What I'm seeing is like when a butterfly outgrows their cocoon, they fly away. They don't stay caterpillars just because they're comfortable being caterpillars. Okay. They go in the cocoon. They isolate. They do what they have to do for them. Not for their mama, not for their daddy. Okay. Not for their baby daddy. They do what they have to do for them butterflies and their baby daddy. That's a funny visual. But the point of my story is about 
pleasing yourself, paying yourself first, okay? Living life based off of what you want to do, your own ego. And with this energy of the sun card, this is that energy of uh, taking action on it, okay? Taking action on this like divine idea, this divine guidance is something that you love to do so much. With the world card and the sun card, I feel like some of you guys are ending here generational generational cycles, karmic cycles, okay? Um and in seeks of something better. It's really interesting too that we have one, two, and three, okay? Ace of wands, two of wands, three of pentacles. You could be seeing that number a lot throughout the new moon. One, two, three, one, two, three. And this is a symbol of divine time, okay? Everything worth having, it is worth waiting for, okay? Anything worth having is worth waiting for. I'm seeing someone changing their diet, something something that maybe they they used to not eat, they want to eat now, something that they didn't eat, they want to eat now. Eat intuitively. Eat intuitively. Um, okay. What I'm seeing is doing everything intuitively, like breaking the rules. Like you know the rules so you can break them, so you can adjust them, so you can tailor them to what you want, okay? Wow. Some of you guys here, you help like what you love to do is helping others through the lessons that you've learned. What you love to do is to help others through the lessons that you've learned. And I see that you're a guide through people. Some, some of you guys are showing people who are going through a dark night of the soul what's possible. Or if you're going through a dark night and you're feeling more alone, this is that energy of calling in your soul family, your, your soul family and your spiritual family, okay? Your spiritual family are your angels, your ancestors, your guides that are always connecting with you. And then we have your soul family, okay? These are people in the physical realm. When you pray to God, when you pray to the divine, the universe, they answer your prayer through people, through experiences, through interactions that you have with people in the grocery store, okay, in the coffee shop, at the laundromat. Don't um, dismiss anyone. Don't dismiss anyone um, because God sends every, people to us for reasons, okay? And if they're frustrating you, if they're triggering you, thank God, thank the universe, thank the divine, because triggers are showing you where you still need work, where you're still, parts of yourself that you're still needing to work on, parts of yourself that still need to be integrated, parts of yourself that still need to be loved. Some of you guys could be feeling very frustrated with someone too, feeling that very frustrated with the lover or someone that you love, someone in your family. Some of you guys are very frustrated with your mother. We have the queen of wands. Again, fire, energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have a lot of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Cap, page of pentacles, page of cups. One thing I'm seeing here too, is a mother and her children, okay? A mother and her children. And she's learning um, that she can't do everything for her children, okay? That she has to do what she has to do for herself. And her children are going to be inspired and and they're going to follow that independence in themselves. The best thing you can do for your children, okay, is to show them um, a model of what a healthy, uh, balanced, self-actualized person is. And that's not someone who just bends over backwards for anybody, okay? That is not someone who bends to the will of what other people want, okay? I'm hearing leader. You know, you're a leader. You're not a follower. You're a leader. You're not a follower. Um, so that's also something to take into account. Another thing I'm seeing with this energy is that you're, some of you guys here are wanting to you learn something, maybe you went to school for something, but you're wanting to learn more, get an extension on your degree, or you went to school for something, but you're like, um, you want to learn something new. Okay. You know, and you're wanting, maybe those two things are going to converge. Maybe they won't. Okay. But it's not, like, you didn't waste time doing one thing for the next. Okay. It's all coming together for something. Um, we have the five of Sword. Some of you guys deal with criminals. I'm seeing like criminal justice or with the law. Okay. Some of you guys deal with criminals. Um, 
and you're a light for them. Okay. You're a light. You help them. Or maybe you're wanting to get into reform, prison reform, um, or helping those who, um, don't have a lot. Like you're an advocate. I see that you're an activist or an advocate for, um, for incarcerated people, for maybe people who don't have a home, okay? Um, for people who don't have a family, all right? You guys are of service in that way. Um, or you're wanting to be, you're wanting to connect with people, you're wanting to fulfill your, fulfill your desire to help others, okay? We have consolation, letter, and sorrow. Some of you guys are getting some mail that could be very disturbing to you. Maybe you didn't know that you owe something. Okay. Some, some of you guys, maybe you missed a, le a letter and now you're getting like a final notice and like, oh my God, all this stress you have to deal with. Just do one thing at a time. Okay. You don't have to do everything at once. Do one thing at a time. Another thing I'm seeing is that you guys have been feeling a lot of sorrow or regret about something, but whatever you have to do for you, you will be getting a constellation. Okay. It will be something you will be getting some sort of, of I, feel, I, I heard a feeling of like, okay, I knew why that had to happen. I knew why that had to happen. I knew that that delay was a detour. Okay. I, it, it wasn't a no, it was a redirection. Okay. Um, sort of this energy. Another thing, some of you guys are needing to send out letters, send out letters, or I'm seeing people on, on, uh, the phone with customer service. Okay. You gotta have to, some of this new moon and Taurus are needing to tend to those kind of like um, like simple to do tasks, those bureauc those bureaucratic tasks. We have surrendered to the magic of who you are. So with this energy, you guys are seeing how magical you are, how divine you are. I see like maybe you're thinking of something and you see it right away. You know, you say a word and you see it right away. You're seeing a lot of synchronicities, a lot of magic happening all around you or, you're, or you are being inspired right now. Some of you guys too could be learning about how to use your magic, how to use the power of your intention, how to use affirmation. This says we all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with the uniqueness and worth that comes from just being you. And the bottom of the deck, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Some of you guys are going to be wanting to go into nature, go visit a body of water, uh, go to a national park. This says take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Heavy on that earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now I'm going to see what message the magical mermaids and dolphins have for you. Woo, time to move on. Ew. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. Okay, you have completed a cycle. So it's time to move on. Stop repeating the same thing. Learn your lesson and move on from it and that's going to help you to in inspire you to what i'm seeing is like learn more learn something that's actually on your level okay another thing i'm seeing with this is that someone is tired like you're tired of the same old same old you're tired of having that um that same intention over and over again. It's time to put action. Okay. If you're doing all this magic and intention and nothing is happening, it's time to follow up with action. Ready, set, go. This says now is a perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. Ready, set, go. Take that action now. It's called a green light and you got it, honey. It's your turn. Beep, beep. It's your turn. Blessings and thanks, abundant universe. Okay, so this new moon in Taurus, and we're doing an abundant activation for the Reiki. You're feeling a lot of blessings and gratitude too around the new moon in Taurus, okay? You're seeing how far you've come. Some of you guys are gonna be reaping some of those, re that harvest now, okay? Reaping some of that harvest now. You're seeing that cornucopia, you're seeing the abundance, you're seeing that um, this hard work does pay off. And then we have indigo, mystery and mastery of life. So with the energy of indigo, some of you guys here are connect. You have indigo children, so you have very psychic or sensitive children. 
some of you guys are the indigo. You are the different seed. You're the star child. You're the moon child. Okay. Um, and you're diving deeper into these mysteries. You're learning more about, um, the occult, how to heal yourself. You're learning more about esoteric studies and the magic of who you are, indigo magic. You guys are very centered around that magical energy. You guys are realizing your magical powers, okay? The power you have of intention, okay? The power you have of manifestation. Okay, now I'm gonna see what goddess has a message for you. Green Tara. This says, start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself, okay? Ask for help. You do not do everything by yourself. You have to delegate, okay, and regulate. And then we have Donna, high priestess, highly intuitive. You guys are highly intuitive um, individuals, healers, okay? inspiration okay you guys can also inspire and heal the world this says you have divine knowledge that can help others through spiritual teaching okay some of you guys here maybe are wanting to teach what you've learned okay you now i'm gonna see how you guys can care for yourself for this new moon how you can care for yourself oh, 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 oh. Wow. Okay. We have make a meal. Okay. Nourish yourself. Some of you guys, you've been craving something. Ooh, or your ancestors been craving it. Make a meal, honey. We have create art. Okay. Some of you guys here, again, feeling super creative, really inspired. Maybe you're wanting to make art, like, um, actual, like, art like with paint some of you guys this is graphic design some of you guys this is writing um but all in all what i'm seeing is being very creative and getting your ideas out there about ex creative expression okay you have the creative expression okay you're the creative director of your life and then we have dance okay move the energy around this new moon by dancing shaking it up some of you guys might want to go dancing dance in your living room dance like no one's watching dance in the dark okay but just don't hurt yourself dance with the stars okay but the the thing about dancing is that when you dance you allow the energy to flow through you okay you allow those emotions to move so get into it my love put on your favorite song and dance okay so my loves that is your reading number two for this new moon in Taurus, if it resonates with you, please comment. Okay, I love to read the comments. You can also tip it my cash app or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange. We get abundance, tempo over your life. Go to my website, Big Empress Energy LLC com to secure your spot for the new moon and Taurus collective candle Reiki sound bath and group reading. So I will see you guys Tuesday, May 11th here on YouTube. Okay. The link, you get the link for the live, you know, through my website. Okay. So holler and secure a spot. Now let's get into it. Let's get into it. Can I get an oh for my number three? Oh, grr. Number three, this is you, Rose Quartz, baby. Okay, if you chose this, this reading is for you. We're going to find out what your angels, your ancestors, your guys want you to know for the new moon in Torres, okay? What you need to know for May 11, okay? Mira, what you need to know? Mm, 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 mm. You the star, okay? You the star, okay? With this energy, I'm seeing you shine very, very bright. I'm seeing the solar plexus chakra being highlighted, okay? The solar plexus chakra and the heart chakra, okay? Um, what I'm seeing is that you guys are making power moves based on a, a feeling. Ooh! They don't talk about it, okay? They don't talk about it. They don't talk about how sometimes you just get a feeling and you don't know why you have to make a decision. You don't know why you're being called to do this and do that and, and, and do this and revamp that and go back to there and move here. You don't know why, okay? But it's a feeling, okay? And I'm seeing that you have to follow these intuitive feelings, not your ego feelings, not the feelings that come and go. It's like the a feeling that just comes in. It's a feeling. It's a knowing. And the thing is that you don't know 
the divine isn't going to tell you, oh yeah, you need to start this so that you could reap these rewards in 10, 15 years. No, they don't, they don't say that to you. Okay. They just say, Hey, start that, start that, start that, start that. And it repeats and repeats and repeats until you answer or else you're going to, you're going to need to do it. <laughs> what I'm seeing is like, Oh God, like divine, send me a sign. Send me a sign. Divine sends you a sign and you just like, I can't read. I don't know how to read. I'm not sure. Let's say, come on. Come on, man. You know what's for you, okay? You know what's for you. So what I'm seeing with this energy is like following your intuitive feelings on something. There's no there's no um, tangible proof. There's no tangible reason yet, okay? But it's something that you're being called to do. We have the Ten of Cups, the Page of Swords. Following the feelings that are going to be making you very happy. It's going to be also pouring out into the people around you. Okay. Like when, like this energy of like, you are an inspiration is what I'm seeing. to those people around you. Another thing with this 10 of cups and this page of swords is focusing on the gratitude in your life, focusing on the beautiful things in your life. Okay. Um, focusing on the positive things, not get, and like following through with it. We have the guru card. This is the Taurus energy. Okay. My Taurus is happy birthday. Um, the guru card, this is oof, an eight of pentacles. Some of you guys are students working really hard for like students working really hard. Okay. Stu a focused student is another thing I'm seeing. Okay. Some of you guys might not be students in a school, but you're trying to learn your, you're trying to teach yourself a new trade. You're trying to teach yourself a new skill. You're trying to teach yourself some of, some of you guys is very basic stuff like, um, how to keep a happy home, how to clean your home, how to, um, what I'm seeing is how to clear out the space of your home. Some of you guys are learning maybe about how to, how to decorate. Okay. I just feel like with this energy, you guys are exploring like unknown territory, but it's going to be making, it's going to be all coming together. Okay. Because what I see with this eight of pentacles is that you've been working really hard on something and it's just like this missing puzzle. Okay. And you're going to be getting it during this new moon in Taurus, this uh, missing puzzle of information that's wanting to come through. Another thing I'm seeing is like, don't be so stubborn. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes things don't make sense in the moment, but when you look back, they do. And that's what, that's the main message for you. Number three is that right now you might be doing being you might be asked to do something that doesn't make sense to the naked eye it doesn't make sense to the to the people around you it doesn't make sense to the muggles around you but if you have a very strong feeling inclination it's spirit guiding you into something into a um, learning something new some of you guys want to be the teacher you've you have a lot of um, knowledge you've accomplished a lot. You have a lot of emotional control over yourself. And you're also with this energy, you wanting to teach others. Some of you guys teach them through your own body language, through the way that you move in the world. Okay. You teach and you lead by example. What I'm seeing is that you guys, peace is very important to you and you like to protect your peace. And I'm seeing this new moon in Taurus, you're going to be making time to have more fun. Okay. Making time to have more fun. We have strength. It's okay to take a break from your work. Knight of pentacles in the reverse. Some of you guys here need to take a break. And when you step away, you're going to be getting a resurgence of creative ideas. Okay. Some of you guys during this new moon in Taurus could also be feeling very triggered by family members or people around you. Okay. It's because you feel like you've elevated so much and they're just like, maybe you feel like they're dragging you down or you feel like they don't understand you or something like this. And so it's not your job to, um, elevate them. It's your job to elevate yourself and stay in your frequency. Okay. It's your job to lead by example, not to implement, not to manipulate, not to guilt trip others, not to shame others. Okay. But it's about you. Don't lose sight of what this whole journey is about. And it's about you. Okay. And with this energy of the strength, like don't give your power away thinking that you have none. Don't give your power away thinking that you have have none. Okay. With the strength card, this is also Leo type of energy here. Strength card. I'm also seeing, um, that before maybe you were playing it small with something. I'm also seeing that like, you're going to be hearing that like, 
what it's a very specific situation, but it's all almost this energy of like you hear what people say about you behind behind your back, or you're you're um picking up on maybe like negative comments people make about you, but you're not identifying with them. Or maybe you could be getting some targeted, you know, um hate on social media or some um like I'm hearing backhanded compliments or passive aggressive compliments from people. And it's like the old you might've smacked someone. Okay. The old you might've smacked someone. The old you might've gotten a fight. The old you would have sacrificed their peace, but the new you preserves your peace. The new you knows that it's all about the present moment. Okay. And it's not about lowering your level to, um, impress fools. Okay. Lowering your level to satisfy fools. Another thing with this strength card is that you are stronger than you have realized. And you're identifying in that strength every day that when you're triggered, you you don't just act off your triggers. Okay. Um, you stop, you pause, you plan. Some of you guys are planning to go back to school, are planning to learn, are planning to study something. We have the three of cups in the reverse. I'm seeing a celebration. Some of you guys celebrating a birthday, okay? Um, you're celebrating someone else. You are celebrating, some of you guys, this is a graduation. We have the world card, right? A graduation, yes. Yeah, so you guys are celebrating a graduation. Um, the completion of cycle. Uh, some of you guys are leaving, like someone left a job. Someone left a relationship. Someone left a marriage, okay? Someone left a town, and it's a celebration, okay? Um, it's a celebration because you did what you have to do for you, even though it was really hard, even though maybe people didn't believe in you, okay? Another thing with this energy of the world card, some of you guys could be going into your Saturn return, could be 28, 29, 30, you're going through a mature astrological maturation, maturation, which means that you're getting more mature now, um, in this age. And that's why you're needing to break away from these old cycles or old ways of keeping, um, keeping yourself small. Okay. Another thing with this world card is really protecting your energy. Okay. Protecting your energy. Some of you guys here, Ooh, um, if someone is gossiping around you, what you want me to do with that information? Um, I don't feel comfortable talking about that right now. Um, this isn't the, this is not the kind of stuff I like to talk about. Or just change the topic, okay? Start talking about sunflowers. Start talking about anything else. Ooh, and we had the Queen of Wands that came out, and that's sunflowers right there. Talk about anything else, but don't let don't let people drag you into gossip or um, bickering. I see a, a group of people could be family or friends fighting, okay, um, as well or wanting to drag you into some drama, okay? And you'd be like, save that ish for your mama. We have the queen of wands, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have the star. Didn't I say you guys are the star? You guys are shining your light here. This is Aquarius. Leo and Aquarius. These are... um. These are sister signs, okay? Um, They go together on the axis. Some of you guys could have those placements too, Aquarius or Leo, or these are people around you. Doesn't have to be, but the energy of Aquarius and Leo is about, I'm seeing, I'm hearing individualism, okay? Um, how like individualism kind of serves humanity, serves friendships, right? Because Leo was kind of that, um, Leo's a little bit of that energy of like, you know, all eyes on me. And then Aquarius is like, friendships and connections and people, you know, and it's like how, and it's also like your individuality in friendship. So not losing yourself in the crowd, not losing yourself in groupthink, not losing yourself in what's expected of you or what people assume of you. Okay. You're like, you thought, <laughs> you thought, but let me tell you what it really is, baby. Okay. Cause this is not what you thought it was. I'm the queen of wands, honey. See yourself as the queen of wands. See yourself as a star, okay? Nobody can take from you what's meant for you. With this energy of the Queen of Wands and, and the star, you're, you're needing to have, some of you guys with this new moon in Taurus, you're gonna get an idea or you're gonna need to do something that's very brave of you. It's very bold of you. You're gonna be needing to use your charisma, your charm, your, you know, and, and how you have turned your struggles into your successes, okay? So allow me to speak life into you right now for you to feel that power that you are for you to feel the strength that you have for you to remember that you've already gone through this okay you have already gone through this cycle okay and you're done with it it's not about going back it's not about being bitter it's about going and being better okay better than they thought 
and proving people wrong. Okay. Proving people wrong is something I'm seeing as well. Um, I'm seeing like a connection with water too. Some of you guys could be connected with like Yemaya or water goddesses. Okay. Water goddesses, water deities, mermaids, all of that. We have falseness. Okay. And joyfulness. Some of you guys in a friend group, someone is being fake. Someone is being fake or they could be talk about you behind your back or, you know, they don't say it to your face. Okay. Something about like that. It's like joyfulness and falseness. Someone also could be pretending to be happy and they don't, this could be you. Like your, you could be going through all the struggles and you could be going through it. And like your friends, nobody knows, like you don't even let your friends see how you be going through it, okay? Or you don't let your family see how you be going through it, okay? You be putting up a front like, nah, I'm good, everything's happy, I'm la you laugh, but you really wanna cry. Feel your feelings, okay? It's okay to feel your feelings because they're not yours. And I'm seeing also someone, maybe this is going to, going to therapy or, um, <coughs> wow. Could be going through therapy. Could be getting a throat chakra activation. I started coughing out of nowhere. A throat chakra activation. If that means you gotta say what's on your mind. You gotta talk your talk. Surrender the idea that you can fix someone and surrender denial. This says it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Like I said and surrender denial accept people in situations as they are without denying the difficulties then you can see cl things clearly and make the best decisions stop trying to you know make something what it's not okay stop trying to you know force your opinion your will your ideas on somebody or something that isn't isn't accepting of it some of you guys are in denial. You think you can fix someone. You think that it's on you to fix someone. All you can do is, is what <laughs> all you can do is for you. You can only do something for you. And then we have authentic self and evolution. Some of you guys are evolving into a new, more authentic version of yourself after this new moon. You could be questioning yourself. Who are you? Okay. Cause you've changed. You're not the same person you used to be. And that's beautiful. You're evolving. You're birthing the new version of you and it's a new moon. So get really clear on how you want to embody it, how you want to express it. Because Taurus is about embodying Taurus rules, the throat chakra. So some of you guys here are expressing or communicating in ways that you might have not before. We have rose quartz that I just picked out this deck and you guys picked it. So let's read this. This is angel of loving relationships. This says, I love myself and I enjoy my own company. I'm grateful for my friends and other people of importance to me. And I enjoy spending time with them. My heart is open. I encourage romance in my life. Ashe. Now let's see what the magical mermaids want to say to you. We have empowerment and accept heaven's help. This says you've prayed for help, so get out the way and let heaven help you, okay? You've prayed for help, so allow yourself to receive it and stay empowered. This says you are more powerful than you realize, and it is safe for you to be powerful. So after this new moon in Taurus, you're going to be feeling a new sense of power and of strength, okay? Um, it's like no one can break you down. We have Mary... Mary Magdalene, okay, this says unconditional love, love yourself and other, love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be, okay, heavy on this love energy, unconditional love, we have Ichel Medicine Woman, this says you are a channel for divine healing power, and what I'm seeing with this is that some of you guys are healers, okay? Some of you guys are uh, root, you work with roots, you work with herbs, okay? You maybe as well do tinctures, or you work with um, oils and baths, limpias, okay? Continue on this work, okay? You help people have realizations that they wouldn't have out, that they wouldn't have otherwise. And then we have Ostara. Fertility. It is a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Now let's see how you can care for yourself. How you can care for yourself. Woo! 
we have drink tea. Okay, drink your tea. It's that throat chakra. Your throat chakra needs tea, mint tea, green tea. Okay, um, some of you guys is raspberry tea. Okay, as well as what I'm seeing for you. We have intuition. Your intuition is growing stronger every day. Some of you guys here, you have the gift of sight, of clairvoyance. You're going to be expressing it. Some of you guys are going to be practicing your ability to channel, your practice your ability to intuit, um, trusting your intuition, seeing that you are a lot stronger and more connected than you may have realized. We have look at the stars. Some of you guys here could be wanting to study astrology, could be wanting to study human design, could be um, looking to astrology or getting your birth chart parts red okay as well and then we have family family baby with this energy of family this is about spending time with your family or people who feel like family people who feel like home okay where you feel safe where you feel comfortable the bottom of the deck we have watch a movie some of you guys are wanting to maybe watch a movie with your family watching documentaries about the stars okay the cosmos quantum physics, okay, as well, damn, all of that, all of that for this new moon in Taurus. Number three, if that reading resonated with you, please comment, okay? I love to read the comments. You can also tip it my cash app or buy me a coffee. I appreciate the energy exchange speaking abundance tenfold over your life. Go to my website, BigEmpressEnergyLLC.com to secure your spot for the collective candle reiki abundance activation happening on tuesday may 11th it is 14 dollars and 44 cents and it includes a youtube live i cannot wait to connect with you all for this powerful new moon that's going to be leading us into eclipse season okay i'm seeing you guys all my love and blessings bye